Hello everyone, the Skilled Roy here, back with another Legends of Runeterra video. Well, just off the heels of the Riot holiday break and the big January patch, we are about to start 2022 with a bang, as we are scheduled to get the next Legends of Runeterra big content update this month. But we know almost nothing about it. No name, no release date, nothing but the clues of the current sets to help guide what we might be receiving in this expansion. Well, let's talk about some basic patterns that are evident thus far to figure out what we have left. So, the first thing we know is that this expansion is probably going to have four champions, and due to the process of elimination, we kind of know which regions are left. You see, Demacia hasn't received a solo champion yet, and neither has Freljord, and Bandle City still requires two more champions to equal the same amount of non-event champions as everyone else. Thus, we know the region identities for the final four champions. This isn't the only thing that's important. We also know the Bandle City's secondary regions as well. You see, every other Bandle City champion besides Tristana, who got new followers and supporting cards, were also given Bandle City plus another region as their region. In this case, Teemo and Fizz are counted as almost new champions as they receive new supporting packages, new voice lines, and obviously new art. Riot treated Teemo as the Piltover Zahn Yordle, and Fizz as the Bilgewater Yordle. Then we had Vagar as the Shadow Isles Yordle, Ziggs as the Shirima Yordle, Poppy as the Demacia Yordle, Rumble as the Noxian Yordle, and finally Kennen as the Ionian Yordle. The only two regions left that haven't gotten a Yordle yet are Targon and Freljord. Therefore, the two Bandle City champs we're looking for should be skewed towards those two regions. So with that background information, let's hit the ground running and follow up on a previous theory. In the previous video, I mentioned a variety of reasons why I thought Yumi was going to be the Targon and Bandle City champion. And of course, Yumi did not end up showing up, we instead got Pantheon. Now I will always fully admit when I am wrong, but I don't think I am. Rather, I just think I was early. I piece things together just a little too fast. For those of you who hadn't seen that video, here's a quick refresh on Yumi. Yumi is a cat familiar from Bandle City and is the familiar to the Yordle Nora. In the game currently, the only Targon and Bandle City dual card we have is Loping Telescope. Loping Telescope features these mice-like creatures hanging onto the telescope trying to get it under control. Previously I explained that this is a similar dynamic to Yumi and Book, as it's an animal with an animated object pairing. I have more evidence that I don't want to go over here just to the risk of sounding redundant, so check out that video instead if you want to see more on that. However, I do have new evidence to help back this up, and it comes from the game itself. You see, in the Expeditions mode of Legends of Runeterra, players can draft cards and play against other opponents who have drafted cards in a Survival Gauntlet series of matches. But during the drafting phase, cards are given to players in buckets or groups of cards typically corresponding to an archetype. These archetypes are officially named and organized by Riot, so for example the Kennen and Ari archetype is called Foxy Ninjas as an obvious reference to their assorted champion pairing. So with the latest expansion, Pantheon's archetype for Targon and Bandal City, it's called Pex and Pets, a reference to himself, obviously, and almost certainly Yumi as she is, well, a pet. This seems pretty clear cut to me, so I'm confident in saying that one of the Bandal City champions is going to be Yumi. Next up is the Freljord and Bandal City champion. In the lore, there is exactly one Yordle who perfectly matches this region combination, and that of course is Gnar. Gnar is an ancient Yordle who is frozen in the ice, and he looks like this. Now this might look a little similar to you, because this is actually the same design and color scheme of multiple Yordles we've seen thus far. The Yordles on the full art of Minimorph are clearly that color scheme, the Yordles on the Protoporo are also that color scheme. It's worth mentioning in particular that for Protoporo, it's actually a Freljord Bandle City card, lending more credibility to this theory. And finally, Stone Stackers are also clearly Gnar followers. Hell, you can even see Gnar in the background, fighting what looks like maybe Godzilla? Furthermore, at the end of the previous expansion trailer, we see a figure emerge in the upcoming Bandle City portal. While some people might think that it's Warwick, that doesn't make much sense since we already got the Piltover and Zahn champion already with Caitlyn. Instead, I think that silhouette belongs to Meganar, the transformed version of Gnar. With all this evidence added together, it seems very evident that we'll be getting Gnar as the Freljord and Bandle City champion. 
However, let's take it a step further. On one of his streams talking about region identity, Steve Rubin, one of Riot's game designers on Legends of Runeterra, mentioned that one of the strengths of Bandle City is meant to be transformation. Which is odd when only one card is known for being particularly powerful at transformation, but then again, think about it. Gnar is known as a transforming champion. Minimorph features his followers, and it stands to reason that he is likely going to focus on transforming between his mega form and his normal form. And why is that important? Well, as we've seen thus far, all Yordles are paired with their respective champion. Ken and Ari both focus on recalls, Vagar and Senna both focus on darkness, Gnar and his transformation will likely work with the Freljordian champion. But does any Freljordian focus on transforming? Does any of them have a voice actor that would have needed to come into the studio recently to record lines? That's right, I think the Freljord champion is Udyr. This adds up well as Udyr is currently being reworked, which means his voice actor has had to have been in the Riot's voice studio to record any voice lines for the rework. It's very possible that they could have also had him do voice lines at the same time for Legends of Runeterra. For those of you who don't know, Udyr's entire abilities have always been about shifting between different stances, something that could be easily shown in the gameplay of Legends of Runeterra to be a constantly transforming card, which is pretty similar to Nars constantly transforming as well. Now finally, that brings us to the last slot, the Demacian Champion. Honestly, with no expansion name to go off of, no mono Demacia followers to speak of, hell, no spells even. I, I've been cut off. I have quite possibly literally nothing to work off of. With no information at all, it's basically impossible to come to a final conclusion. Thus, for the sake of consistency and sticking to my guns, and by some miracle maybe getting it right, I'm going with Galio. Previously in my last video, I thought it was Galio for a combination of reasons, one being the nature of the expansion name back then felt like a great fit for Galio, but also because Galio and Poppy were formerly associated in old lore and it'd be a really cute reference to bring them back to being friends again. I fully expect this one to be wrong, however, as I have basically no real information to work on. Uh, so I would love to hear what Demacian you guys think is going to make it in. I've heard Vayne a bunch of times, I've heard Xin Zhao a bunch of times. You guys let me know. But for now, I'll stick to my initial prediction of Galio because that's basically the only thing I have on it. Well, that's just about it for me. Who do you guys think are coming in the final expansion for Bandle City? Do you think I'm on the money or do you guys have your own ideas for who's coming? Please let me know in the comments below. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. If you want to hang out with me on Discord, feel free to join it using the link in the description as it's where I and a bunch of other theory crafters and speculators work on all the theories you hear about here. But that's it. So uh, thanks once more for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.